I'm Cameron Hurst, a junior journalism and music double major, and I'm from Jamestown, New York. I always had an idea that I wanted to go into journalism, and I wanted to go into writing. Music was a very big part of my life. I was always a singer. Oh, yes, I know. Oh, yes, I know. And I knew that coming to college, I wanted to do something like that, but I certainly didn't realize that even a small scale music program like we have here at Bonaventure, I'd fall in love with. This past summer, I applied to be the press box coordinator for the Babe Ruth World Series, which Jamestown has the great fortune to host every so often. And I was responsible for pretty much all media that came through the tournament. Congratulations on your victory. Thank Talk you. about your guys today. We were doing live statistics and we were doing live tweeting. And then during some games when people weren't you know, able to show up for the anthem, I was able to go down and sing the anthem. The Robert H. Jackson Center is a historical center dedicated to the life of former United States Supreme Court Justice Robert Jackson. I really wanted to help them with their digital presence, their social media. You know, I was given that opportunity this past summer. What I didn't expect with it was an exhibit that honored Charles Goodell's life, former United States Senator, Jamestown native, and father of NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell for an event in August, his family being there, including Roger Goodell. I designed this using a program called Canva, graphically laying out the pictures, scanned bumper stickers, business cards, trying to tell the story with tactile items. I've been with it since step one, and to see it kind of come to fruition is just, it's a, it's a cool feeling. Roger was unbelievably kind. I was able to show him the exhibit. He came up to me, he grabbed me, and he goes, Cameron, thank you so much for all you did for us this summer. We really can't repay you for the work that you've done in helping to preserve our dad's legacy. It was one of the most important things I think I've done during my 20 years on this earth. I'm Molly Driscoll. I'm a senior Homeland Security major and I'm from Syracuse, New York. My freshman year, I actually came in as a political science major. I always wanted to be in the FBI. I was actually advised that I look into this individualized major program. Together, we created a major, which we called Homeland Security. So I'm taking a bunch of different classes in political science, international relations, cybersecurity, any course that would be even remotely relevant to what I wanted to do. I meet with Dr. Zabad, who is my advisor from the political science department. I have to give him progress, any questions I have with him. He's gotten to know me throughout the past few years here. I also meet with Dr. Gross. I'm taking an online class with him now and I'm also taking a social media and society class with him. This past summer I lived in Chicago, Illinois and I interned in the corporate security department at United Airlines in their headquarters which was amazing. So I did a lot of assisting in harassment and discrimination investigations. I helped put together the metrics for lost theft reports. I even got to go to Paris for free. It was an incredible experience. I got to see like the private sector of security. It was really interesting to see how these big corporations work with government agencies, to what extent they can work with them. I traveled almost 30,000 miles in three months. Stamped my passport, got my frequent flyer miles. My name is Charity Hammond. I'm a junior sports studies major from Hampton, Connecticut. I'm just such a driven person that I have to kind of be doing something where I feel like I'm not making use of the time in the day. So on top of like my academics, I work in the Student Success Center, and then I'm also an RA for upperclassmen. I'm also a captain for women's club basketball as well. I decided to do club sports because I've loved basketball my whole entire life. So I knew that in college, it was another opportunity to get back into what I love doing. It's not a huge commitment, but it allows me to still be competitive. I would say overall, I've been pretty good with dividing my time. Doing orientation team has probably been the best experience in my life so far. It honestly changed my whole experience here at St. Bond Adventure. So it's definitely made me a more open person in general. Now I'm not as private as I used to be. Like I share a lot of things with my friends now. My friends are like my biggest support group here on campus. I know that I can go to any of them if I have a problem about anything. We eat at the Hickey a lot together and we call it family time. Bonas old St. Bonas. So ever since I was like three years old, I've been singing. That's how I usually try to keep up with the spiritual side of me. And I think that's kind of the way that I spread my light. Hello, child, thy memory grow. Through years have fled and years shall flow. These last few months being a senior are breaking my heart. I think one thing I really want to take away is keeping those relationships with professors and I just want to continue to meet people and hang on to that and there's going to be a few months from now where I'm not going to be able to walk down the hall to see all my friends anymore so I just want to keep it close and take it all in. 
The small school environment behooves your development. You've got faculty here that care about everything you're doing. I'm not entirely worried about what I'm going to do. I just know that I think I'll be prepared to do it because it's that support. They expect nothing less than your best.